Okay, I'm Muzzy Griffin. This is the third and final part uh, of the elements of a dream. Uh, things. Things are things. Things are used, uh, much like technology is used today, to try and illustrate uh, or act as a foil for some metaphor in your mind. It's, as I said, a dream is all wordplay, so you have to look at what something uh, means in terms of a sentence. That sounds a bit odd, however, follow me from this one. When somebody dreams of a cart stuck in the mud and they see something valuable in the back of the cart, usually that, in a lot of cases, it means that uh, something valuable that they want to get to a new place, that they want to take somewhere where they can have a different experience with it. They believe that it's uh, not going anywhere, that it is uh, bogged down, that there is an element to the environment that is restricting its travel. So, these elements uh, are there as foils to create the conversation with yourself. The uh, only difference is when you're dreaming about something, a physical object that actually concerns you in your real waking life. Usually, like with the uh, friend analogy from my people section, Things will be happening to it, not because of it. It goes from being the object of attention and the need for intervention to... Uh, which is when you're dreaming about something. When you're dreaming with something, it is the subject... Uh, in the whole universe, your dream area, is subject to this thing. That's when it's being used as a foil. Anyway... That's things, they're usually grouped in like areas, as I said in my uh, places section. So, when you find yourself dealing with something in a dream, see whether you are acting toward it or acting uh, with it. Anyway, that's part three, and I'll get into my process in the next part.